Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Early this morning, I believe about 2.58 Pacific Coast time, there was a magnitude 3.2 earthquake there in California. Near Aromas, California, 95 people reported feeling this. I really wish uh, USGS would show the felt reports and what people experience, but they don't. There is one on EMSC. Maybe if more people reported them on EMSC, USGS would change what they do. They said they were sleeping and it woke me up fast, quick jolt. There's been a lot of reports of um, sudden jolts lately. And what's unusual is they got a focal mechanism ball. I guess the seismologists took notice of this earthquake also. The initial first wave of the earthquake that arrives first that goes directly through the earth called the P wave came in from the north and applied tension we have uplift see that the fault line moved west using Google Earth yeah we got a mine over here it looks like probably rock there's a small pond over here. I wanted to see where it was located compared. Yeah, another mine. A lot of mining going on over here. River Oaks area. It's probably one of those cases where the earthquake was actually stronger. All the way up by Oakland. Someone reported feeling it. San Mateo. Yeah, probably right along there. It's probably um, soft soil down south in Salinas and close to Pacific Grove. Now remember only about 10% of the people actually report them. Hollister. Santa Cruz near Scotts Valley. Now on the 6th of this month near Gilroy there was a magnitude 2.7. Yeah they're watching this area quite closely. They actually had a, a P wave for this um, earthquake that came in from the south. They have a focal mechanism ball. Uh, the tension was applied going west. The fault line slightly moved upwards towards the south. The only reason in my opinion they would have focal mechanism balls is they're watching this area in the fault line for the San Andreas Fault. They know they have a large magnitude earthquake coming. After the 3.2, there was a magnitude 1.6 in the same location. A little bit farther south, there was a 1.5, Pinnacles, California. And yeah, you can see we got some more down here. Um, a 2.0. A 1.4. A 1.7. It looks like the only area that they're really tracking what's going on with the moment tensor balls is within this area because see there was a 3.0 and that was on the 7th. 58 people reported feeling that earthquake. There's the focal mechanism ball. Again we got uplift. That one was felt a little bit farther south. We got the Sacramento area. Um, Fairfield, um, San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, San Mateo, Santa Cruz, um, yeah, where is this down here? Again, uh, Pacific Grove. So did you feel this earthquake? Now this 3.9, that was on the 2nd of this month this year 2020 uh, 3869 people reported feeling that earthquake and yeah you can see the area that was a very large area that they felt it yeah you got something big coming um, you don't know when everything that's large should be bolted to the walls you should have extra water just in case a first aid kit have an outside uh, source for communication kind of like an operator for family members in another state and when phones don't work text messaging often does work so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you for subscribing I'm also on Twitter and on patreon patreon doesn't censor like USGS uh, and YouTube does 
but I would like to know was it a quick jolt like that other person reported did you have damage Did things fall off the walls um, did the animals act up prior to this and how long did it last please put it down below thank you for subscribing please stay safe and I'll talk to you later God bless you bye